you know, you get a group. You know, I wasn't here last season, um, but kept in touch and seen from afar a team that played as well as they did in the second half of the year. I wasn't able to get in the playoffs. Um, you know, they kind of hunt you all summer. To get an opportunity to get back to this place uh, where you dreamed of being, um, and that's in the playoffs. You know, this is the best time of the year as a basketball fan and as a basketball player. So, um, you know, everyone's obviously anxious to get it going, but we still got a little time before we get there. A lot of preparation we got to do, um, and we will do that. Dwayne, does this team are they very similar to you guys in the fact that the depth on the bench and the ability, talent level they have coming off of it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the four times we played them, um, I, mean, I think those games shown that. Um, so it's it definitely going to be, I think, a great series. Um, and uh, which team uh, propose, impose their will, and the will is the strongest, and we'll win the series. But um, you know, from a talent standpoint, from a depth standpoint, um, you know, uh, I think we match up pretty well. Dwayne, you hear so much about um, people start counting games that people have, that guys have played in the playoffs, and obviously played more than anyone in this mm -hmm. series. <laughs> what is it? How much does that really mean? Is, is, is it the individual guy that uh, that it means to you know? If, if one guy, you know, Goran hasn't played as many, but if he's, he's a battle-tested guy. He's been in the league ten years. So what does it really mean? Yeah, um, I mean, I, I definitely feel that experience you know, means a lot. It doesn't, but it doesn't guarantee you anything. Um, you know, I, I think it helps you in certain moments. Um, you know, you've seen the movie before. So you can sit down and tell a person who haven't watched this movie what's coming, um, you know, in a sense. But, you know, some players and some teams are just special. And it doesn't matter, you know, how much experience they have um, or have. You know, they, they, they're, they're a good enough team. Um, they're a good enough team, you know, no matter where they're playing. And they can play anywhere on God's green earth. And that's something you, the, both of you guys will we have to find out still. Right, with the, we definitely, you know, we definitely both, I mean, it's six or two, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely, we, like you said, both teams will definitely you know, have to find out. And, you know, it's, it's, it's we, you were here in this series and you, we've heard before, is um, it doesn't start until one team loses. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you know, one team has a 2 0 league and they've won at home, et cetera, et cetera, whatever, it doesn't really start until you, you know, you start losing in the playoffs. That's when it gets, it's not like losing in the regular season, you know? Um, you know, so that's when you really start feeling what the playoffs is like. Do you feel like Hassan escalates his game now? And he has to go up against a guy like Embiid. Yeah, yeah, I do, he loves the matchup, and um, that's a great thing. Embiid, um, you know, it's one of the best young centers in his game, and Hassan loves the matchup, and I think Embiid does as well. So, um, if you like seeing big man play, um, two different styles, but you know, let them play against each other, um, it's a great series. You know, hopefully, um, to, to watch. What are your thoughts on Ben Simmons in that regard, too? No, Ben is, you know, he's he's himself. He's he's the player that uh, Ben wants to be. And, um, you know, a lot of people, just like with others, they're going to compare him to other guys. But, um, you know, he's made his own way in his NBA, playing his, his style of basketball. He's leading the team. Um, so he's done an amazing job, you know, as a young player. Um, every night consistently, you know, bringing the game that wins. And that's, you know, that, that's playing um, all around basketball. Ben is not the first guy of his talent level that teams have kind of hung back on and packed the paint mm -hmm. regularly all season. But he's not really falling in the trap of the jumpers and he's handled it well. What do they do well and what do they run well to kind of just combat that? Well, they got, they got first of all, they got great, they have a great coaching staff. Uh, they've been underrated for a long time because they haven't won 50 games, right? But I think if you played against them, if you know the game, you know that um, they have a great staff. Um, and now they have the talent, you know, not just from a Ben and, you know, and B standpoint, but overall they've done an unbelievable job of putting, you know, the J.J. Reddicks, the Marco Bellinelli's, you know, getting uh, Elias Sova and all these guys, you know, around that makes their offense, that plays well within their offense uh, very good. So they got multiple things they can run with, they can run. They can set up a half court and run uh, offense for their shooters. They can throw it out in their post to their <laughs> big. They have everything that you would want from a team standpoint. So, um, you know, they've done a good job of putting a, a, a great team together. This, uh, tonight, the non basketball questions, HDTV thing that you guys are involved with. Yeah. Do you enjoy projects like that? And what was it like working with your wife? Because I was told about that today. Uh, me and my wife works very good together. Um, I, I enjoyed that. You know, it was something different. You know, you get an opportunity to do something different. I don't know about you guys, and uh, I'm married, and we watch a lot of HGTV. 
I don't know. You know, it's, watch it's, it's a requisite. <laughs> yeah, it'd be one of those you hit the button that say last on your on your remote. That's coming up for us. So um, to get an opportunity to be on that show for me and my wife it was something that was you know um, very cool for us and um, and I think everyone that will tune in is going to enjoy the episode. Who's the handy one? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> no work around the ranch or nothing like that. No, no. Let's go. He's going to look like it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> TV magic, baby. Thank you.